Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're going to be talking about online gaming, and in particular we're going to be talking about your modem as it pertains to online gaming. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Your modem doesn't have a huge impact on your gaming performance. One thing you'll see, you'll see all these articles, best modems for gaming, best gaming modems. You'll see modems marketed as gaming modems. But in reality, modems have very simple jobs and they don't affect your gaming performance very much at all. So in this video, we'll talk about why your gaming modem or your modem doesn't impact your gaming performance very much. Okay, let's start by talking about what your modem's job is in general. Your modem's job is to maintain an internet connection with your internet service provider and provide that interconnection to your home network. Honestly, it's a very simple task and there isn't a whole lot of variability in terms of looking at one modem and comparing it to another. All modems will have a maximum speed they can support, but that's honestly the biggest variable. You want to make sure that your modem supports the type of internet connection you have. For example, I have a cable internet connection, so I have a cable modem. But as long as your modem supports the internet connection you have and the speed of your internet plan, that's all it needs to do. It doesn't really matter what you're using the internet for. You could be gaming. You could be streaming. You could be surfing the web and watching YouTube videos. None of that activity makes a difference to your modem because, again, all it's doing is maintaining an internet connection with your internet service provider. If you're currently analyzing if your modem that you have should be replaced with a gaming or more high performance modem, there's just a quick analysis you need to do. All you need to do is figure out the maximum speed provided by your modem. If you're not sure how to do that, I will link to a blog post down below that details how to go about finding out the maximum speed your modem can support. And then all you have to do is make sure that number or that speed supported by your modem is greater than the speed supported by your internet plan. The thing to keep in mind here is if your modem supports an internet speed or supports a maximum speed that's less than your internet speed, it's going to serve as a bottleneck for your network. And this is how your modem can cause problems for gaming is if it can't support your internet plan, it serves as a bottleneck, which results in a slower internet speed on your network, where if you have multiple people using the internet at once, there's a greater likelihood that your internet connection affects your gaming performance. As long as your modem supports your internet plan, that's the biggest thing you have to worry about. That's the only factor that you should be concerned with when it comes to your modem. It doesn't, there's not a lot of processing that's going on. As I mentioned, it's a very simple device. And the fact of the matter is, online gaming doesn't require a lot of bandwidth to begin with. If you look it up online, I've looked at a few different sites, most people say two megabits per second of internet, of internet speed or bandwidth will provide you with a good gaming experience. To be conservative, let's say you need 10 megabits per second of bandwidth in order to online game. Well, the vast majority of internet plans and the vast majority of modems support bandwidth and internet speeds much greater than that. So let's say you have a 100 megabits per second internet plan, your modem supports 100 megabits per second, you have nothing to worry about. There's no need to upgrade your modem or your internet plan. You should have everything you need to be able to go online game. Another important distinction I want to make here really quickly is that upgrading your modem 
does nothing to affect your internet speed. The internet plan that you get from your internet service provider, that will dictate the maximum internet speed your network can get. So let's say, going back to our example, you have 100 megabits per second internet plan. If your modem supports 100 megabits per second, if you buy the latest and greatest gaming modem and it supports 700 megabits per second, your home network speed will only be 100 megabits per second because that's the speed provided by your internet plan. So if you're short on bandwidth or you're having problems with your bandwidth, you might want to look at upgrading your internet plan before you look at upgrading your modem. So that's pretty much all we want to cover today. As a reminder, there's nothing special about a modem that's titled the gaming modem or anything like that. That is just marketing material to get people to buy their modem. But now you know the difference. As long as your modem can support the speed of your internet plan and your internet plan provides enough bandwidth to online game, you have all you need. For more information on this topic, I'll link to a blog post that I've written to down below. So you'll have a few references down there. As always, if you have any questions about any of this information, feel free to drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for checking out Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next episode.